Welcome to the PHP tutorial. So today we will take a little bit more uh, complicated or advanced example. So we are going to design a login screen. So, and this is a, probably a web page you are all familiar. You go to a page, you enter username, password, and you either log in successfully or you don't. So here is so to do that we have we have we have designed it in two files. One is our login.html, which will have the first page where you enter username and password and then when you hit submit it will call something called submit.php so our login.html would be a pure HTML page so here uh, again I've just created a simple page using table tag uh, but you can definitely uh, use more CSS style and when we'll discuss that uh, in future so I have table tag and then just to save some typing work I have got two elements, uh, user and password, and the only thing missing is the form. But let's see how the page looks without this. Um, so here we are calling login.html. Okay, so it's user password, looks good. See, by default, when you uh, input a tie in the, it says submit query is because we did not specify a value so by default your HTML engine which is in the browser if it doesn't see a value it puts submit query so anyway now we have a value now you will see login Let me refresh the page okay here you go login so now, but if you enter anything, it will not do anything because you did not instruct the form, which is called, you know, when you have this HTML to do anything. So to do that, we have to add a form tag, which is called HTML form tag. Now, some of you may not be familiar with uh, HTML. So I think what we are discussing here is basic HTML. If you are not familiar, you may want to uh, read up some something or, you know, there are, uh, HTML tutorials available also in YouTube um, and who knows I may also uh, do one in the future so where I'm defining a login form and I'm putting method equal to post again these are if you're not familiar with HTML programming please uh, these are just basic types so what and so we define our action which programs it calls so we say test or it's a tutorials PHP test.php now some of you might have questions so how, how do you determine which path now our document root is set to see we are creating this file and under htdocs www that is our document root set to so when you you don't do any path it will go here so from there what we are instructing is is go to tutorials and then PHP and then go to the program test.php and we end the form tag so let's save it so let's see how it looks now okay that's good so now even though we have defined the form tag it's not doing anything because see here we have action uh, okay, so we didn't do equals to that's the problem What should happen is that it will try to go to this uh, test.php and Let's see how our test.php looks like well. It should be submit.php. So I take it back. It should be submit.php And let's see how submit.php looks like with okay, submit. I have a program already put some programs, but we can do it later so let's say for the timing cool this is submit.php okay so our submit.php almost looks like HTML uh, only had as a PHP code a little bit submit.php so just to get it started and see how it looks okay it still didn't do anything so there must be some problem. Let's refresh it. 
and let's make sure do a view page source and let's so we have our action equal to test submit.php so and let's look at our submit.php yes looks okay so let's try it again okay so this time it did go to submit.php as you see the url says submit.php and this is our submit.php so now let's put the code here so php supports php has this something called get array which is used for your form posting so when you submit something then it's very it's it is available in certain server variable so it's we have something called get or post so so let's put it post because we are putting in the post so if you're not familiar with what is get and post I would encourage you to you know, read something but basically one liner would be when you submit when you define HTML form and you submit the values the PHP has certain reserved uh, what do you call reserve variables which are called get or post where these values are available so what we are doing is that we are defining a variable user and we are saying whatever coming in the post so post is basically an array and we are saying they give me the user ID so if the field name is called XYZ so for example this user ID if you see if you put a name equal to something that variable would be accessible by uh, user ID here so post would be an array and the variable name would be uh, the field name would have the same uh, same index or same uh, label which is the name of the field in the form so okay so let's say let's just type it out user equals to and let's put dot stands for concatenation so we say dot so what we are doing is that we are getting the variables let's delete this thing rather the timing and we are printing it on the screen so let's go back here and let's put some nice values here. We say Joe, and we say Joe one two three. Okay. So now it went to submit. It says user equal to Joe, password equal to one two three. So now let's do some checking because in real life you probably would do some checking. So here we have a code where we are checking if user equals to. This is for comparison of strings. So user equals to Joe or and password equal to Joe one then success or failure so again just to repeat so this is a string comparison operator so we are checking if username is Joe and password is Joe dot one so you can just instead of putting in the values again you can just do resubmit the form and you say failure because we did not pass Joe one to three so let's now pass Joe one. I'm sorry, the password Joe one. Now it's a success. So in the in the next version, we will connect to the database, and we will see how it looks when it we connect to a database to decide on uh, to retrieve the username and password. Thank you.